so now your question is somebody may ask apart from office 65 i want to exclude some of the file let's say uh, dust be like a recycle bin i have some files in recycle bin why i should redirect to uh, you know my profile st uh, storage or let's say don't user may download n number of files right download files which is not necessary so why i wanted to redirect to that and i why i wanted to consume my space so there comes redirection or exclusion so let's see the exclusions okay i'll going to log off this then i will go to my storage this is not my storage okay okay so now what i will do i'll delete this uh, profile for now okay so we'll configure the uh, redirection redirection is nothing but or redirection or uh, in other word uh, exclusion okay i'll turn on the mic after completing this okay so i have some other storage account so where i have kept that exclusion file i'll copy that and i'll put it in the new um, storage account which we created i will go to this one make sure that you give permission on this file for the users otherwise the exclusion it won't be able to see the exclusion okay domain user again give the minimum permissions okay so don't give full control because somebody they can come and delete this and it will impact so domain users go to edit go to read only okay because we just need read read and execute that's it nothing else we need on this folder okay this folder and files because it is inside the files click okay click okay copy the path okay so i'll delete this one this is not required so see if you see my file right i'll open this file with the notepad i have a blog also so you can refer to that blogs for the proper you know implementation see in this in this file i am going to exclude videos i am going to exclude recycle bin i am going to exclude music etc okay so people who are you know uh, saving anything on videos or in the music recycle bin it will it won't get copied to the profile container it will get excluded that is the point over here so i'll go to my policy so you need to go to the same policy edit this policy go to computer configuration policies administrator template then go to fs logics profile container and advanced this time you need to go advanced and you need to provide a redirect xml file to customize redirection click on enable and enter the path okay you should not give the file name okay you just give the folder name this is very important if you give complete file name then it won't accept it okay so click okay apply then come back to our vm let's reboot the vm so that it will take the okay let's reboot it so now vm is ready and uh, i am going to my url and i am launching it and let's test the redirection okay so we have added redirection for recycle bin music video okay and we cannot so rename the uh, redirection file right no no it should be uh, in the in the same format it should be redirections even it won't take redirection also okay, okay let's see whether it is creating a container uh mohammed can you post this complete session over youtube yeah i'll post thank you yeah it's, it's i think it is recording yeah we'll post but to the guys uh, those who are not subscribed uh, please uh, subscribe so that you know you will get all the new updates or anything related to new a video or azure cloud etc okay so this is my youtube channel ashur mohammed we'll do that Yeah this is my youtube channel
uh, VDA bus. Okay, so I'm going to paste the link over here. Those who are not subscribed, you can subscribe. Yeah, so I think my law session is logged in now. So let's go to the VDA. Yeah, it is still logging in. And uh, I can see the container. It is created the container over here. You remember, I we we deleted the container, right? So it is not uh, created. The the, why the container name is creating with SID, not the username? Good question. You can change it. That is the default behavior. I'll show you the settings also for that. Yeah. Sure. Sure. See, Thank container you. name, container and directory naming. So you can choose that Correct. swap directory name component so that you will get the username first and the seed second. That right. I think you have to do this because otherwise it is difficult to find the user, you know, username. Yeah, uh, yeah, that is the reason. And you can do it without Honestly, seed as well. You can do it without yeah. seed as well. Only yeah, yeah, the username or anything exactly, like that. Exactly, all the options. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You can do it. So that option is yeah. available. Okay. So now, guys, here, yeah, here the uh, here we have added the redirection. So if you go to your program for users, right? If you you'll see one user called local. This is your user. Along with this, you will see one more user called local underscore fs test three. Here you can see all the redirected folder will uh, you know will get uh, displayed over here. Why this is because let's say you have saved some files, okay? This is which is already this contain this picture is already excluded, but you have saved. So let's go to our uh, music, right? So we have in music also we have excluded. Compressed folder, then we'll go to our videos. We'll go to compressed folder again. So if you go back to your this one, right? Uh, C drive underscore local. So this is the place it will keep temporarily. If you go to music, right? You can see in my files. If I keep Dex any files in the desktop, it won't be show. Why? Because desktop I did not exclude. You got you're getting my point, guys. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. this is the uh, folder which will be flush out when we log off. Exactly, exactly. This will flush when you log off. So let's see that. Let's do one thing. Let's log off this. Okay, and we'll come back again. Yeah, Mohammed. Uh, you can exclude uh, desktop and document folders also, right? Okay. Why you want to exclude that, man? <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> then don't there is a use case. So there's a use case. I don't want to. Uh, I I I want to keep the profile thin. Don't want to users to you know, save it on desktop or desktop. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. You can ex you can okay, include right. all the you know desktop documents. You can exclude everything, man. Ex you know it's it's purely customizable. Okay. okay. But can we yeah. prevent you to save data? I mean, yeah. rather than um, uh, allowing user to create the data and then flushing it off, can we uh, prevent user to save data on my desktop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yes, you have we to can do that. Policy. No, no, that you have to apply group policy, etc. Not no, using FS logic, that is not possible. Yes. Okay, I'm going no, to but, log in. But tell me, who, like, how you are doing it? Can you tell me using yeah, FS logic? Yeah, Muhammad. If we in FS Logic, if we disable everything like uh, desktop documents, uh, so so that it would be helpful, right? So automatically it will. No, no, it will not his, save no, no. His he, no, no. His question is he don't want to save in the temporary for a temporary purpose. Also, let's say I, I, you know, I created a file in videos, right? But after log off, it will go. But he he don't want to keep it itself. He want oh. to prevent him to, you know, let's say I'm creating a folder. He don't want the user to create. The folder okay. itself that is his okay. requirement for that. I guess he, he, I guess you want the kiosk environment in which uh, the user cannot do anything just exactly. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There, there is a number of options. So there. Exactly, kiosk, exactly, can, yeah, can, there can be a use case we can give a, a personalized drive to end users, not not the part of profile, but a personalized yeah, drive yeah, where yeah. user can see okay, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, I think, we can, uh, we can discuss that uh, maybe later. See, later now later. I have logged in. See, there is no files on download. There is no files on the picture. I have ex uh, not uh, excluded. If I go to my videos, right, there should not be any file. See, 
this is how you do the redirection let's say you wanted to do some troubleshooting and you have seen that you configured redirection but it is not working as expected there comes the again the agent so in the agent you can see all the fs logics redirected options like what are the things you redirected everything you can you know track from here okay so go to profile and scroll down so this will tell you what are the things you did a redirection what are things which got you know included uh, in the profile etc so can you see here guys adding exclusion added exclusion so this okay. fs logic so, tray will be available to all the users or it will be for admin means every user can no, see all, all the settings yes 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 it will available for all that is why i told you always keep this in c drive copy that and put it in users public desktop it will be all the you know, vdi and yeah so Sorry, that uh, you know you don't yeah. need to go and search each time okay? otherwise you can put it in the start menu startup also i have written the blog for that by default it will come